This is Mark Gunnison, and I'm trying to learn electronics and sharing what I'm learning. So in this video, I create a very simple uh, microcontroller that receives the serial output from another microcontroller. And you, uh, this is useful while you're trying to program. Normally, you'd send your serial to a serial monitor and a computer, but you don't always have a computer nearby. So here we are at my office, I'm a CPA, and so I built this uh, little device quite a while ago that shows METARs from local airports, so it gives you the weather at airports. And you can see this is the first prototype version of it, and it uses an 8266 to get the information online. And the problem is it crashes every once in a while. And so I got this uh, serial to USB, so I could take the serial signal out of my device and run it into the computer. And then I could kind of watch it to see when it crashes and when it doesn't crash. And that actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. So I decided, why don't I build a device to do that that's standalone? So here's the code. And I just check to see if serial of it, uh, data is available. And if it is, I read it in one character at a time and then print it to the little screen. So this is uh, the routine that just loops over and over and over. To, it checks to see if there's a character and it prints it to the screen. It's actually pretty simple. Um, and to, to, to do this, there's, you can see there's the setup information uh, that runs once and it just basically sets up the screen and then it runs through this uh, uh, loop over and over and over checking to see if there's uh, anything available and it prints it. So here's the whole program. Uh, you, you can see it's it's a little longer program than what you would need just because of all the time that I, I have with the screen. I mean the screen setup and then I have some, uh, it's a touch screen so I've got a, a little menu that that you can go through to change some of the settings of the screen. So there's the program, as you can see, it's very simple. So here's my first prototype version of my standalone uh, serial monitor. And I did this on a uh, breadboard and an ESP32. Uh, you can see I'm accidentally uh, bumping the screen, getting the menu going. So it's a ESP32. So you can see it's the information's coming out of the, the uh, METAR clock. Uh, through from the serial wire and then into the into the uh, serial input uh, of my device and it's working pretty well. So uh, when I uh, built these uh, METAR clocks, I had this printed circuit board made that uh, interfaces the ESP8266 and a, a card reader with that with that display. And uh, th that ended up working out really well. And so I ordered a bunch of those boards from China. And uh, I think I got them for like five bucks. Had to wait like uh, three weeks or something. But it worked very well. So I ended up using one of those boards because the layout's the same uh, for my standalone serial monitor. So here it is once I got it all mounted on one of those boards. And uh, you can see it works really well. So with the touch screen, I can change the, the layout. Uh, I realized uh, as I was filming this, I need to also add uh, something where I can change the baud rate because right now the baud rate set at uh, 9600. So, but that'll be a really easy change. So you can see uh, it's just reading the information from the clock in the back there, the the troubleshooting information, and uh, displaying it here. And so that's basically the raw METAR that, that it's displaying. But of course, you could uh, you know when you're when you're programming, you can use any any serial uh, out. Uh, to, to help in the programming. Okay, this is post-edit mark here. And while I was editing the video, I realized they didn't talk about how I wired this up. I just kind of assumed everybody knew uh, how serial works. So uh, very simple. So this is the one that's sending it out. And basically the only wire that you need is the uh, TX wire, that's transmit. And then this is the one that receives it in and the only wire that you need is the RX, R for receive. So it comes out of the transmit, comes into the receive. Uh, they also need a shared ground. And so uh, the ground's coming out over here and it's coming in here. Now, if both of these are, are uh, being powered by the computer, like the USB or something like that, that will have a shared ground. So it won't need... Uh, you won't need an additional shared ground. You just you just need the one wire. So just remember, it comes out of TX and goes into RX. So uh, uh, just wanted to make sure. Oops, just wanted to make sure that uh, 
that was clear because uh, I didn't mention it in the video. So now back to the video. So uh, here's my clock and I uh, use the same touchscreen. I find I really, really enjoy these touchscreens because it just makes programming so much, so much easier. It's a little bit of programming to get the touchscreen to work, but it uh, works pretty slick. So there you have it. That is my uh, standalone serial uh, monitor, and it was really easy to program. Uh, I was really surprised, just a couple of lines of code. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.